Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. For 556 days, Ukraine defends itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. The Kyiv Shevchenkovsky District Court has chosen the pretrial restraint for the oligarch Igor Kolomoisky yesterday reports Ukrainska Pravda. It is 60 days of detention with the option to pay bail of approximately 13.7 million US dollars. Later, Kolomoisky's lawyer said that the defense would file an appeal against the court's decision. Earlier on Saturday, September 2nd, the Security Service of Ukraine, the Economic Security Bureau and the Prosecutor General's Office served oligarch Igor Kolomoisky with a notice of suspicion of fraud and money laundering. Igor Kolomoisky is a former co-owner of one of the largest Ukrainian banks, Privat Bank, which was nationalized because it was going bankrupt. There were suspicions that billions of dollars were taken out of the bank by its owners. In an interview with The Observer, Brigadier General Oleksandr Tarnavsky, commander of the Tavria Group of Forces that operates in southern Ukraine, said that the Russian forces spent 60% of their time and resources on the construction of the first line of defense, and only 20% for the second and third, reports Ukrainska Pravda. Now the Ukrainian army is advancing on both sides of the breakthrough and are consolidating their positions. He believes that the Russians didn't expect that Ukrainian forces would get through this line of defense. According to Tarnavsky, the armed forces of Ukraine are now between the first and second defensive lines. He informed that the counterattack was restrained by a huge minefield put down by the Russians. Behind it, Russian troops just stood and waited for the Ukrainian army, knocking out Ukrainian equipment. Quote, as soon as any equipment appeared there, the Russians immediately began to fire at it and destroy it. That's why the mining was carried out only by infantry and only by night, unquote, he said. Now that the mine barrier has been overcome, the Russians are forced to maneuver, redeploy their forces and pull up reserves, not only from Ukraine but also from Russia. Tarnavsky believes that now that the minefield has been breached, the Russians have lost much of their advantage. He explained that the second line is not so well built, so the Ukrainians can use their equipment, although there are still minefields. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. A married couple was killed and two more people were wounded in the result of Russian shelling of the city of Vuhledar, Donetsk region, eastern Ukraine, reports in VUA. The Russian forces used an aircraft for the attack. (music) President Volodymyr Zelensky informed that two more vessels successfully passed along the temporary Ukrainian grain corridor, reports Fakty. Quote, Ukraine is restoring true freedom of navigation in the Black Sea. Freedom requires determination, unquote, said Zelensky. The head of state thanked the port workers and everyone who ensured the safe functioning of the corridor. He called on allies of Ukraine to support its efforts by providing more air defense systems. On September 1st, Ukraine's Minister of Infrastructure Alexander Kubrakov said that two ships previously blocked due to the military action in the area left Ukrainian ports in the direction of the Bosphorus, carrying pig iron and iron ore concentrate. Following Russia's withdrawal from the Black Sea Grain Initiative, Ukraine announced temporary corridors in the Black Sea for trade vessels heading to and from Ukrainian ports. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.